What's good, everybody? It's your boy, WG Dorian. And I was doing another video where I was talking about my thoughts on the releases in the Adam Cole situation, but now what I have to really address is this. WWE contracts ain't worth shit. They're not. Now, this is coming up. This I'm saying because Two or three, uh, three years ago, when AEW was coming together, the WWE was was concerned. They were scared. They were afraid that their disgruntled and unhappy talent would decide to take their respective balls and decide to go home and find, find a new home in all elite wrestling. You don't believe me? Oh, let's see how many people ended up getting getting two, three times their salary to re-sign with the WWE for five-year contracts. That was going on with NXT Talent. NXT Talent, which I believe normally would, would normally do like three-year contracts, <clears throat> were being offered five-year, two to three times their uh, what they were making. All because AEW was becoming a thing. Okay. Fucking guys like the Good Brothers, which I think they might have been what making three hundred thousand to five hundred thousand individually, were both being put, were both being offered million dollar contracts to keep them from going to AEW, which is wild when you think, look at AEW now and the fact that they're they're there now, but the fact that they were released from that very lucrative contract where they both making you know about a million dollars each a year now I don't even think a full year into those new contracts going through they basically enjoyed all of that for like for like a year and then released and now two or three years after giving all of these guys those extra pay, that extra money and a lot of them being just at home, not doing shit. They were getting cut and released. And it's been going on for, for like two years now. Your Cardotas, your Heath Slaters, your Brian Myers. Come on, bro. Come on. What the fuck is a WWE contract really worth? When for budget cuts, you got to get that good old call from Johnny Ace. And, uh, yeah, kids, you know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to tell you this, but, you know, we got to make budget cuts so, you know, you're, you're, you're being released. Get the fuck out of here. And I'm saying that because of the fact that allegedly Adam Cole, Adam Cole is being offered a million dollar contract, had a, per, had a private meeting with Vince this past Friday. But how many got, but... We just released, he just they released what? 13 individuals from NXT, including former NXT North American champions, uh, Leon Ruff and Bronson Reed. Mercedes Martinez, a woman that really could, which really, who I really feel should have stayed with the company, who really could have done a lot for that company. And former Undisputed Era member and uh, NXT tag, multi time NXT tag champion, Bobby Fish. Who, granted, the, I can see why they released Bobby Fish. Bobby Fish was, has been a bit injury prone in his uh, year in WWE, but not to the degree where I think that he could not still be beneficial. He can still go. And let's let's say they move him up to the main roster. That fucking WWE slower style probably would work for him a lot better. But then again, would he really? Would he really be fine? Here's my thing. If I was Adam Cole. I'd look at what's been going on with the WWE. I'd look at the talent that they've released. I've looked at how they've treated certain individuals. That should have been a high priority. I'd look at Karrion Cross, how he debuted. And I don't give a fuck what you say. You do not bring the NXT champion to Monday Night Raw and have them so fucking disrespected to where they lose two minutes 
two minutes in a match by a fucking roll up, even if it's a season, even if it's fucking dirty like that. The current NXT champion going up. Remember Kevin Owens, how he came out, challenged Cena, beat Cena. When he came, when he was going to the main roster, and had that NXT belt right there around his waist. Hell, look at Keith Lee last year. He came out looking good. Feuded with Orton, was winning. They kind of put him a little too quickly into the title picture without actually giving the time for him to like build his rapport with the crowd. Plus, they changed the aesthetic, which really fucking hurt the NXT people who really, who really rock with him. Like that fucking hurt a lot. And his music sucks. And then we have, you know, what are they gonna do with Cole? What you gonna cut the main roster? Who's gonna feud with? Y'all gonna put him into the main event scene immediately? Y'all gonna have him be in a, in a be in a fucking uh in a uh, intro um a sec a, a tertiary title uh picture? What's it gonna be? Is for the for the U.S. or for the Intercontinental Belt? I would personally say Intercontinental. And build them up to it, but then again, y'all gonna have Adam Cole beat beat uh, Roman Reigns by himself? Lord fucking help you if you're gonna try and convince me that Adam Cole is gonna beat Bobby Lashley against different champions. It's something I can I can I can I can see, but right now, what 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 I can't. Fathom is this million dollar contract, him going to Raw SmackDown. And who is he gonna beat? For what belt? Because you gotta you gotta be giving him a belt. You gotta be like really pushing for him. Matter of fact, what is creative gonna do for Adam Cole? That actually is decent. That's good. It doesn't come with a with a side of cringe. When 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 you look at it, what's story gonna play out? How's he gonna be represented in the match? What type of match will he really mesh with the WWE style? Not the NXT style, but the WWE style. Like these are what things I'm talking about. Are y'all gonna let Adam Cole kind of run off at him? Are y'all gonna have him scripted? How good are the writers? I'm sorry, I do not trust WWE to put Adam Cole on the main roster, and I still hate that to say that. What I meant to say is I don't trust. WWE taking Adam Cole from NXT, putting him in WWE, and then having him be good. I don't, I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see him having his character built well. I don't see them have, giving him the respect that he deserves. I don't. And for everyone that might think, well, you're only saying it because you want him to go to AEW. Guess the fuck what? He don't got, I'm going to tell you, like I said about Bray Wyatt, he don't got to go to AEW. In fact, I would prefer him not go to AEW and instead go to Ring of Honor. Why? Because Ring of Honor, and please understand, I am not joking here. It's where most of the big names in the past 10 to 15 years of WWE, where they come from. The guys that really show up, show out, and really have the best connection with the crowd. You know, Samoa Joe, Kevin Owens, Danny Zane, fucking AJ Styles, AJ Styles, fucking Ring of Honor. Like, like, like all of the undisputed era is Ring of Honor. Boy, I, 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 I don't know to tell y'all. Y'all, y'all over here really thinking, really thinking that I'm just. Gonna say everybody that gets released from WWE should go to AEW. Not everybody. Would he now Adam Cole can fit perfectly fine. The stories that can be told, the matches that can be had. Oh. They'll be good. Hell, Adam Cole versus Daniel versus Brian Nanza. Adam Cole versus CM Punk. Adam Cole versus Darby fucking Allen. Adam Cole. And Mira for the TNT title. Oh, that, that would be really good. Do I see Cole taking that belt? No, I don't. Just, uh, uh, you know, it, it, it. It's ridiculous. 
to really think about, and it saddens me. Think about, especially considering that we just that all those people just got released from from WWE, from NXT. There's probably still more cuts coming, and we're over here about to put out a million dollar contract to one individual. Maybe I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, but I feel like, you know, somebody should really, really tell me if I'm wrong. Hit me up in the comments. Tell me your thoughts. It's been your boy WG to do it. I got to go. I'm out here. Peace.